Hello, today I have another problem where linear algebra and analysis come together in a surprising and beautiful way. I have a symmetric matrix and I'm interested in maximizing the x transpose times ax where x is from the unit sphere. And I want to prove that when this maximum is attained, that happens at an eigenvector. So for the solution, I will use the Lagrange multiplier, but I have to first set it up the right way. So we define uh, the function f from Rn into R by x mapping to x transpose Ax. And the function g from Rn to R by x going to its norm. So the problem is to find maximum of f of x subject to g of x equal 1. And uh, we know from Lagrange multiplier's theorem if this max occurs at x naught, then gradient of f at x naught is some real multiple of gradient g at x naught. Uh, we know So by the way, I do not prove here that at least one maximizer occurs. That's an easy exercise which I leave to you. Please put in the comments if you know why a maximizer does exist. Um, what I want to show you though is the gradient of f. Gradient of g at every x other than 0 is given by x divided by absolute value of x. So that's quite um, elementary. For finding gradient of f at x, we compute directional derivatives. And I've used, applied this trick once before. So how do you compute directional derivative of f at an x in a direction y? So that is easy. So you look at x plus epsilon y and you want to compare it to f of x and then let epsilon go to zero. So here this will be x plus epsilon y transpose, which is linear, goes onto each component, then times a times x plus epsilon y. And then there will be four terms here, one of which is x transpose ax, which is just f of x. There are two terms with epsilon in them. One is yt ax, and the other is x t a y. And then there is the higher order term sine squared y t a y. So if you subtract fx from both sides, divide by epsilon and let epsilon go to zero, it then shows that the directional derivative of f at x in direction y equals y t a x plus x t a y. But because A is symmetric, these two terms, if you transpose one of them, you get the other one. So we can write this as twice y t a x. And if we rewrite, so nothing computational 
down here, I'm just rewriting, we know the directional derivative also agrees with multiplying the gradient into that direction or simply taking their dot product. And this quantity on the right hand side is multiplying 2ax by y. So because now this is for true for every y, we conclude that gradient of f at x is twice a x. And that's really important. Now we put them back into the equation that gradient of f is lambda times gradient g. So at maximizer x naught, we get that gradient at x naught of f equals some lambda times gradient of g at x naught. But remember x naught has um, norm equal 1, so this will be just lambda x naught. And this shows that ax naught equals lambda over 2 times x naught and that means because x naught is non-zero x naught is eigenvector of the matrix a so that ends this story there uh, but i want to actually um, draw some corollaries that are really interesting so suppose we rename and um, call this lambda over 2 just uh, our lambda prime so this is the eigenvalue so lambda prime equal lambda 2 is the corresponding eigenvalue then what we have is that the maximum of this f of x subject to x equal 1 is happening at this eigen vector so a x naught but this is x naught transpose and we know that a x naught is lambda prime x naught and this becomes equal to lambda prime because x naught transpose times x naught is norm of x to power 2 which is equal to 1 and so this is eigen value and from this we have a characterization of eigenvalue of a, mat a symmetric matrix so we have proven that the eigenvalue of a symmetric matrix at least one of the eigenvalues uh, is equal to maximizing so eigenvalue of a equals the maximum quantity that you get for x transpose a x subject to x equal 1 but actually because we can scale things you can put norm of x to power 2 which is just x transpose times x and then you can take this x to be any non-zero because again you can multiply x by a c real value and assume without loss of generality that x has actually norm one so this is a description of the biggest eigenvalue of a so because we maximize this is actually not just any eigenvalue the largest eigenvalue of a symmetric member a is given by maximizing this quantity and remember symmetric matrices have real eigenvalues so we can actually talk about largest so it's kind of well defined to say largest and that's it a beautiful application of analysis to a linear algebra problem I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for your attention 
and please uh, answer the exercises I had here and there in the comments and also let me know uh, what types of videos you are more interested in and if you have nice questions why not put them in the comment have a great one and hope to see you soon